All right, everybody, Rob Ferretti, Matt Farah, and Amelia Hartford, and behind us, we have a change of scenery. It's Palm Springs, California, and it's quite hot. I'm not gonna lie. Amelia and I were talking, and she thinks that the cars in California are a little bit better set up <laughs> for handling different types of conditions. Well, the cool thing about being out here on the West Coast is that we have a road with curves. We can turn left and right as opposed to just going straight. So we'll actually really get to feel some of the handling of the cars prepared behind us today. Today we're street driving on the side of a mountain and tomorrow we've rented Chuckwalla Valley Raceway, a two and a half mile road course in the middle of the desert. Speaking of desert, we expect it to be 105 plus tomorrow to see if these tuner cars can literally handle the heat. But first, a word from our sponsor. Check out Autotempest.com, our video sponsor. They made all this possible, and they also make this hobby possible. So whether you want to build a car to be out here racing on the track with us, or you're looking for your next daily driver, check out Autotempest.com. They've got all the cars, one search, saving you time. Forgive me when I say this, my experience at Subarus, if you like to build a Subaru, it's like being in a terrible, abusive relationship. Because <laughs> something is always breaking or going wrong, unless you've dumped so much money into it, that at that point, you, either, you've got to guarantee that it's going to drive well. I personally have always wanted to build a Hawkeye. I love seeing this here, because we didn't have any Subarus at the last one. Tell me a little bit about what you have done to this, David. Yeah, well, that's why you got to build it right the first time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and not to I'm say used to I stock body vans with big turbos. So. I've never blown a Subaru motor, so. Uh, this is your only Subaru motor? This is my second motor, second but I, motor. I never blew the first one, so. But I did I it right the first time. I want six right now. I uh, originally, you know, <laughs> wanted to build this car right with a closed deck IAG stage three so you motor. you did closed deck? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And I wanted it right around 500 horsepower. It just kept going. It's and uh, we're at yeah. low 600s, so definitely fun. It's definitely a purpose-built car. Uh, it's a people's car. I would not be here today if it wasn't for my Instagram followers and the Subaru community. Oh, hell yeah. I you love know, the Subaru community. It's, it, this is a garage wrenching car, you know. Uh, you said purpose built. What is the purpose? So I originally uh, wanted to build it to go to car shows, you know, connect with the community, uh, build a reputation for the car, but also be able to track it at time attacks, uh, you know, with different agencies and, and different tracks around California. Now you say build a reputation. You've put Stormtrooper on your car. Yeah. Stormtroopers usually just stand there and get shot while they shoot off into the yeah. distance. Is that really the representation well, you want? Maybe not if you interpret it that way, but uh, <laughs> you know, stormtroopers are known as clones, and uh, I wanted to create a benchmark for Subaru owners to aspire to. Okay. And, uh, the Subaru community is all about communicating and asking what you've done to your car and what you can do better. Are so, these functional? They are not. I did. I disconnected <laughs> them. So Even I'll, uh, oh, for looks. I'm the Vanna White with these hoods. I got a Garrett GT35 76R uh, at around 32 pounds of boost. Yeah, this has been covered in cooler more seen, than once. <laughs> it has seen better days. It has seen plenty of track days. So this That's is got a, like layers of coolant on it. Yeah. Over coolant time. is better than it fire shows it's been loved. Material. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you say what size turbo you have on this? It's a GT35. GT35. I that's it's right. A 75 millimeter turbo. Okay. How many uh, boosts? 70. 32 pounds. Okay. All of the boosts. All the yeah. boosts. That's a lot yeah. of boosts. Yeah. <laughs> now, the, the other than all the boosts, um, the thing about this car is that it's on air suspension, which is not what most people associate with track day and time attack. I happen to know one driver uh, who races with a similar setup on his Subaru and has a lot of success, actually. But it's why did you make that choice or is it left over and adapted from the car show day? Uh, airlift performance and air suspension, you know, has very minimal history in track performance, but I think uh, it'll be able to be adjustable on the fly and, and give you know you guys adjustability to, to perform to the level that you want to drive. How functional are these zip ties? Extremely functional. So they're hold that's, yeah, they'll that hold on. Is holding the bumper up. <laughs> well, you know, it came off a trailer to get down here from San Francisco, so okay. I, oh, I, you I, need I, to take that off to get I on the trailer. It, yeah, I have to take the bumper oh, off to get on the yeah. trailer. What would be your concern with the test that you know this car is going to be facing? Well, I think I'm going to kill it on averaging out all the scores. I think this okay. is going to compete well in a variety of the categories. Sure. It may not be the best in any one. What we've learned is mid pack is solid. Yeah. for overall performance here. Yeah. So if you don't do anything perfectly, but you do everything good, you're going to be in good shape. Yeah. Awesome. So good thank day. you for coming. Uh, we're excited to get behind the wheel of this thing. This thing looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And two of us fit in the seat, and <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. All right, and we have Michael here with the 2017 R8, and as if a V10 R8 wasn't fast enough, he slapped a couple of turbos on it. Why don't you tell us about it? 
So this is our Sheepy Ray Stage 2 Plus kit. It okay. comes with Motec standalone and E85 uh, with upgraded clutches and everything. Okay, what's the difference between Stage 1, Stage 2, and where do the stages stop? So the stages stop at Stage 3 currently. Okay. Uh, stage 1 is just the twin turbo kit and a flash on the ECU and the TCU. Okay. Stage 2 is when you bump up to the Motec standalone. Sure. And then Stage 2 Plus is when you get the standalone and the clutches. Okay. okay. And then what's 3? Three is going to be our built motor program. Uh, uh, we're introducing that soon. So, so that's for like half mile race cars. Mm -hmm. yeah. Half mile race cars, quarter mile, dig into yeah. every five. Well, I, I just know this car stock is pretty awesome. What's the horsepower on it with the turbos at stage two? So with the turbos, with the Motec standalone, we're able to go from map zero to map four. Okay. Uh, so map zero being the lowest, being around 750, 800 horsepower. That's 91 and octane map? That's a 91 octane uh -huh. map. Yeah, and then with pump E85, you can go all the way up to 1300 horsepower. Wow. Okay, and what is it on now? It's map four. Oh, that's good. So it's that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> so kill. how does changing the clutches and stuff affect the daily usability of the car? Because this is one of the best daily driving mid-engine cars out of the box. Yeah. So you would expect for this car to drive like a 1,300 horsepower car, rough and everything, but it actually drives like stock. Okay. Whenever, um, whenever Tanner gets in the car, I'm pretty sure he'll be amazed that it drives like stock. Um, the clutches are the weak link in these cars, so uh -huh. that's when we start to upgrade them when it gets over a thousand horsepower. Uh -huh. So that's that's why it's upgraded. That seems to be a reoccurring theme with DCTs. Yeah, DCT is always like a yeah. it's always ever evolving. So yeah. So what's the sheep about? Uh, the, the sheep. Uh, so Alex Soto, the owner of Sheepy, he has his own story behind it. I don't know the full story. I just know it goes back to when he was a gamer. I mean, it could be worse, dude. Skrillex was an AOL screen name. You know what I mean? <laughs> Names come from all kind of dumb places, yeah. right? Yeah, but when I start putting sheep on my car, I sort of want to know the story behind yeah, it. Like I'm yeah. Scottish man, and they jump out with a kilt. That's well, cool. it could be like Pepe the Frog. You know, it's intimidating. It's, it's innocent <laughs> enough looking, but you don't know what lurks <laughs> behind the sheep. I do stand corrected, though. We do have a car on drag radials. Is this on oh, drag, is this drag radials? radials? Yeah. It is. So oh, on the front, boy. we're rocking the Brixton Forge with the Michelin PS4S, and on the okay. back, the Mickey Thompson. Oh, my God. It actually does have Mickey Thompson's on the back, yeah. but they're okay. not like... You don't they're notice not it. the tall yeah. sidewall. It's not, that yeah, it's not it. slicks no. and skinnies. Like, yeah. this thing probably still should handle all right. Oh, it handles amazing. And it, the, the rest of the car has been left alone, right? Yeah. Stock, so tram, interior. stock tram, stock motor. Uh, still mag ride, shocks, the original. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, great. All right, so what, if you don't mind, what is the... What is the package that's on this sell for? So this is the Stage 2 Plus, it's $64,000 installed. Yeah. Now, what size turbos did you put on this? So these are a Precision 6466 okay. mirror image. And uh, everything fabricated in-house from the coolers to the exhaust and everything. Okay, and when do they kick on? Um, instantly, there's no lag. Okay. Nice. All right, this well, be a thank good time. you. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward for to this. This is one of the cars I'm actually uh, yeah, this should be a very super good excited time. for. And you I'm said that about the you. last yeah. one. Yeah. Thank you. What? You said that about the last one. I, I root for all of them. Yeah. Like, they're all. <laughs> th this is an elite group of people. Like This, is, this is SEAL Team you. 6 here. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys can do. All right, Wes from San Diego with what might be the loudest car here. The Shelby GT350, uh, far from stock. I've seen this car around Southern California. We've crisscrossed at events before. Uh, his company, Elite Finish, sponsors a lot of Southern California car events, so we thank him for that. Tell us about your car, dude. Uh, well, thanks for having me. Uh, so this is a 2017 350R. And, oh, this uh, is an R. It is an R. Oh, wow. And um, right now where we're sitting is a fully built by RPG Racing Engines motor, fully built um, T56 Magnum transmission. Oh, nice. And a triple disc clutch from Mantic. And uh, Whipple has their Gen 5 3 liter supercharger. Oh my God, 3 liters? 3 liters of it's displacement probably, sitting on top where of the whole motor. Where does it go? I'm actually, without, with a hood that's not like a crazy cowl, I'm wondering where it actually goes. It's, it's, like, it's pretty remarkable. Oh, wow. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> my friend, Stop you like it. to live dangerously. <laughs> and it wouldn't be any leaf finished car if it didn't color match. Wow, it's like so big. <laughs> this built engine is a built voodoo engine, right? Yes. So it, it still it, runs a flat plane crank? It does. Okay. Yeah. Which, listen, a lot of guys that are starting to go into this kind of power yeah. are, are changing over to the cross plane. Like uh, the for, GT500 has. Yeah, for less vibration. The thing is, though, is, is that the sound that this motor puts out is so divine. Like I just, I couldn't go away from its natural characters. Right. So the thing with this engine from the factory is the reps. It's all about the reps. But now when you put a supercharger on it, how does that affect the reps? 
I mean, we get there a lot faster. <laughs> the red line is still the same. It is still the same. Um, we have, we do have a fail safe in there to where if the tires are spinning past 8,000 RPM, uh -huh. um, it will, it will protect itself. Well, that's no fun. I know. Yeah. So the question is, our benchmark car is the GT500. Yeah. yeah. So th this is going to be very interesting. Yeah. You've also got some weight actually, well, some reduction and some addition. Because yeah, sure. you've added the roll bar, yep. but you've gotten rid of the forward seats and yep. put in some yeah, I've got spark buckets. I got sparkle seats in there, yep. yeah. Now, and where where would this come in versus a stock weight car? Did you net positive or net lose weight? Um, I haven't weighted. I, I would say I'm probably right now a little heavier. The power difference. It's like yeah. triple the power. Yeah. 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 You have more I mean, power. It's... You have aero. I would be very curious to see this against the GT500 yeah. on the track. Yeah. That'll be interesting. We brought the factory, you know, yeah. what the, the factory did when they want, wanted to do a similar thing. Well, this is awesome, Wes. <laughs> thanks yeah. for bringing it out. Yeah. I can't wait to drive it this afternoon. I can't wait to see it on the track. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks cool. for having me. Autotempest.com searches all the online car listing sites, whether it's Craigslist, all the Craigslist, not just your Craigslist, like your Craigslist, but their Craigslist, their, their, all the Craigslist, it comes together in one place. eBay Motors, Cars.com, and a dozen and more other sites. All the cars are in one search at Autotempest.com. Are you getting ready to buy a Subaru because you're vaping right now? I know. I'm, I need a flat bill hat, uh, a Monster Energy, yeah. and a new vape pen. You're right. halfway there. I'm just kidding. Subaru RSCIs are the shit. Yeah. RSCIs rule. This is the car that made Subaru famous. I love the 2.5 RS so much that I actually have one myself. So I was so stoked to see this pull up, not to be biased or anything, but I would love to know what you're doing to this to put some power down. Well, it has a closed deck engine, um, big head studs. Uh, it's still stock location turbo because on this chassis, the AC line's in the way and I wanted to keep AC. So, uh, you know, I built it as much as I could in order to retain that. Okay, six speed transmission. Yep, it's got the, it's a full 2005 STI drivetrain swap. It started out kind of as a stock 05 and then I just kind of uh, added parts to it from there. Are you on the 05 uh, power steering rack as well? Yes. Okay. Yep, the cross member, the steering column, and steering wheel is all from the 05. I did 05 also, yeah. that's yep. why I'm asking. Yep. Oh, <laughs> that's the uh, BBT QC1. The what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you guys the sound what? like. <laughs> yeah, are you running the DICK? <laughs> uh, the D D C D E F G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's cool. So let's, let's do the simple stuff. How much power does it make? Um, on the current map that it's on right now, I'm leaving it on the turn up map so you guys can have fun with it. It's somewhere around the low 700 wheel range. That is insane. All wheel. Where, yes. But yep. I mean, how much, I mean, where do you have to be on the, in the power band to get that kind of power? You'll find out, but it's a light switch. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is like a 2.5? Yeah. Yes, it is a 2.5. Yeah. Your gauge, it does go to 10. Yes. Where does the engine go? Eight. Okay. All right. You have a super rare exhaust, don't you? Yes, it's an APS three and a half inch, and it was discontinued, I don't know, somewhere around 10 years ago. Does okay. that mean it wasn't very good? No, it means that that was an Australian company that got tanked by the American dollar. Ah, mm. good to know. Yeah. All right. So Can we'll we see under the, the hood, Justin? <laughs> yeah. All right. There's Excellent. no tricks. Just pull the thing and yeah. let it rip. Yeah, so we stayed stock interior very fast. Uh, it's a version six Japanese uh, seat. Otherwise, fairly stock interior. Got it. Whoa. So Japanese seats. Oh, nice gotcha. touch. Looks oh, yeah. spring loaded. It's way cleaner than that other Subaru we just looked at. <laughs> <laughs> and no zip ties holding the front bumper. Uh, but you uh, also make more. Let's not hold our breath too much about the zip ties. I will zip say ties that. Are crucial. It's a tuning. Yeah, I I will say I love that you've kept kind of the OEM appeal. All right, so what do you have for suspension stuff? Uh, it's got Bilstein PSS9 coilovers on Those it. Uh, Cusco camber plates on the front, custom camber plates on the rear. On a scale of one to 10, how maxed out is this on a Subaru? Is this? Uh, in my opinion, the car's done. Yeah, I think okay. that's um, There's a lot, I mean, I'm sure there's different routes you could go. I want it to be a high power street car that's fun to drive. You can rip the face off of exotics and it still looks good. I, I'm kind of done with it. Now, how much do you have into this car total? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I just want to be able to tell you what I'm you sure bought. a college um, tuition. Because I've done this myself yeah, and uh, I've been there. I'll tell you that the original swap was done in 2007 and it cost around 12 grand. Okay. Okay. 
plus so whatever the card costs. Yeah, so he's got 120 into it. Is it 120? <laughs> Upwards. Let me introduce you to a 997 GT3 RS. It's been this way for a long time, so it's had a lot of years and uh, trial and error in order for it to get to this point. Nice. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for bringing it out. Uh, we're looking forward to driving it today and seeing what it could do at the track tomorrow. All right, thanks, guys. You yeah, got it. thank you. I don't know about you, but none of us have enough garage space, right? It's easier to buy a car than it is to build a garage. Well, that's where Shape Solutions comes in. They've got your car covered in any situation because they can put them up outside wherever you need. And on top of that, they will buy it back from you when you're done with it for up to 50% of its original value. Lead time is as short as four weeks for standard sizing. And when you're done, to get half your money back isn't a bad deal. So check them out. We put a link below in the description. See if Shape Solutions can have you covered as well. So I remember when the R35 GTR first came to market and it was known for defying physics. One of the biggest limitations when it came to modifying them were the clutch packs and the DCT. Grant, how much have you modified this GTR? Um, right now it's just a full bolt on E85. So I've kept it pretty moderate. I've kind of maxed it out to its potential before you have to get into the transmission. Do you have clutch upgrade on this? I don't. Oh, so okay. I'm kind of just going with the flow. Yeah. What and is that max number before you have to start doing all that other stuff? I'm at about 670 wheel horsepower. Okay. It's a little bit under. That's manageable. Yeah. Easy. It's good to keep it safe. And now does the clutch become a fail point? Is that the issue? Yes. Okay. Just Amelia, you said... Things, start <laughs> and, and what will cause that to slip? Is it... Lots of launches. Okay. But, I mean, I've launched it probably 60 times and I've never had any issues, so... Amelia said she remembers when this car came out. <laughs> that was 10 years ago. How old were you? Uh, when, when you know, I'd rather came? not disclose that information. Were you like in middle school when this car came out? <laughs> I could have still been in diapers. I was a little young. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to have you here because this is one of those cars that if we didn't have a GTR on this show, I would be upset. like, a GTR would always win. It's not the big horsepower, but I think that's your advantage. Uh, the cars that are coming with 12, 13, 1800 horsepower they have those limitations, especially when we're looking at heat and reliability, which is what we discovered in the Florida trials. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see how this plays out. Is there anything cool to look at if we pop the hood? Um, under the hood kind of looks stock, pop honestly. Anyway. Kind of, let's we, pop we it anyway. You did it. wrap it, and that's... And you got the carbon fiber steering wheel. Yeah, I got lots of carbon goodies. Lots of carbon there. stuff. Are you still on factory suspension? Yo, the so oh, this, yeah, yeah. this car has the biggest paddles I've ever seen. <laughs> These paddles are like a foot long. Did yeah, you I modify just, them? Uh, yeah, it's you just did. slip ons. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's a GTR yeah, it engine. Looks pretty yep. stock. So now this thing is making 670 wheel horsepower, yes. all wheel horsepower. Yes. That's, that's a lot. That's gonna be fun. Remember how Nissan yeah. was like, we have to build this engine in a hermetically sealed factory and lab coats and all that, and it made 485 horsepower. Right. And then you get some like yokel in Ohio in a <laughs> shed that turns out like 1,200, 1,300 yeah. horsepower. It's like, he didn't need the lab coat. What's the deal? I don't know about that. These things are great fun, especially on the track, because they don't feel so big. The track seems to shrink the car down a little bit. On the street, on our canyon road, I suspect this is gonna feel like a pretty big car. But uh, I imagine fully functional, air oh, conditioning, it's everything good. It's so, great. Yeah. Weight reduction? So, uh, no, I didn't really go to that. Like, I drive it quite often. Um, it's not my daily, but I basically treat it like it is. Mm -hmm. And it takes the abuse every day. But if you were going to pick something, what would be your fail point? If you think something is not going to hold up to Tanner Faust, what would that be? I am a little worried about the 20 minutes on the track be okay. just because of the heat. You, okay. should, I know. you should be worried yeah. about the so time. You, you think that's <laughs> Not you in be, particular, but everyone should be worried a, about that. A cooling thing? Um, you think it's cooling temperatures are going to start to... I think they'll rise. I don't think it'll overheat. I okay. just know that I did a track day in it. Um, I didn't bring it to Chuck Walla the one time, but it was about 105 up at Auto Club. Yeah. All right, thanks, well, Grant. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. Thanks for bringing it out. We're looking forward to it, and I think you'll do pretty well. I, I think this is going to be, as long as you surpass the benchmark car, which you should, uh, which is no small feat, I think you'll do pretty well. Yeah, eager yep. to see. John, tell me about this beautiful blue Supra. Well, um, it's a 1995 Toyota Supra. Original turbo, came automatic, but I swapped the six-speed in there. Did all the goodies that needed to be done, and that's it. Is it twins or it's a single? It's a big single. It's Gotta a big single. single. Yeah. Okay, and it makes how much power? 800. Oh, you're right. telling then me you have a big turbo 2J and you're not making a 1,000? You detuned it for us. Someone, well, maybe. Someone's been on the internet I'm too much. Get, I'm getting <laughs> right in here. <laughs> there uh -huh. Pussy. I didn't, I didn't pull the thing any different. That was all Amelia. It's all good. 
So much room in here. A magic touch. There is a lot it of room. There used to be a battery here. This is very well done. It had a wire tuck. Uh, who signed your engine? Uh, so Jesse from the first Fast and Furious. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, yeah. That's cool. I can't wait for you to try and sell that. And someone be like, uh, <laughs> how much to scrub that off? <laughs> yeah, I'll just switch the, the cover off. It's all good. Has anyone ever asked you to sign their car, Amelia? Uh, actually, yes. I have. I felt so car? uncomfortable doing yeah. it. Were I'm like, like, I'm ruining the value. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, no, no, really, sign the car. And you're like, no. This is not holding the value. <laughs> I'm not Charles <laughs> Shelby. <laughs> uh, all right, we got some HKS uh, yep. suspension here. Yeah. So what is this car really uh, set up to do? Just everyday street car kind of stuff? or? Yeah, I just have it set up for like, you know, it's a freeway queen. You know how these things uh -huh. are. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, this car is probably a built bottom end. You're not making 800 on stock. Oh, bottom stock end. bottom end. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stock and take stock. Turned 2Js out more. are forged internals factory, right? Yeah. Well, it's an iron block. I mean, it could hold a lot of power regardless. You start to push it around 800, 850 on a stock block. True. You just got to keep but. the torque a little low and okay. save the crank and stuff like well, that. Well, torque a little low is easy. You just put a really big turbo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the horsepower, none of the torques. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it looks, it looks like it's functional, man. It looks like clean. Kinda. Like it should be good. Why'd you buy a Supra? Um, uh, cause I've always liked them. And oh, yeah? I, I got really big into drifting when I was like 17, and I still am. What sort of tires are we running here? Well, oh, I got rivals. the Federal yeah, RSRs these are in the front, and then I got the new BF Rivals in the rear that were a gift. So now these are street tire, right? This isn't a uh, yeah, compa or compound. Okay. Have you taken this to the track before? No, I took it to uh, Fontana to do the quarter mile. Yeah. How do you think this will handle compared to some of the other cars here? Uh, probably terrible. <laughs> I put a I put a Tomei diff in here, Tomei LSD, uh -huh. and uh, the drivability of the car just took a shit. The two way chattery. It, yeah, it's it's terrible. Just the drivability of the car, out the box. That's well, unfortunate. I can't wait. Yeah, and, and then with the combination of the clutch being so aggressive already, because it's an RPS carbon twin disc, and it's okay. just took a dump there as well. You don't sound very confident. Yeah, we're, we're to no, no, no. <laughs> your selling This tactics. is like yeah. a driver's car. It's going to get sideways on you immediately. You okay. can't punch it in any of the first four gears because it's just an animal and it just okay. it, it just hits the rev limiter immediately. So it's just good awesome. for highway. Sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't do much except for go fast on the highway and then turns. I mean, I guess if you're off boost, it should corner decently. You know, yeah. it's, a, it's a decent handling car. But uh, besides that, if you're trying to give it throttle, you're going to spin the hell out. And <laughs> I don't know. All right. All well, right, that so sounds we fun. We're looking careful. forward to yeah, it. Right. Yeah. Tempt yeah. me with a good time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for bringing it out. Uh, we're looking forward to driving this. We will probably give Tanner the same warning you just gave us. <laughs> yeah. I think that would be appropriate. Yeah. yeah. And we're looking forward to seeing it over at the canyons. <laughs> So if you modify cars or you're in that world, imagine having a failure on the car. It stinks when your brakes go out, it stinks when a part breaks, but what stinks the worst is when you have a fire. And especially if you're not prepared for that. And fire extinguishers are probably the single most overlooked modification most car people make to their car. And it's the one thing that if you're not prepared can wipe out your entire build in minutes. We all know what a fire looks like. It's no joke. Do you have a fire extinguisher in your car? If you do, is it a cheap dry chemical extinguisher? Step one, if you have a fire that's electrical, you do not want to use a dry chemical on it as cleanup will be impossible. You will have made a mess of something where you could just have put it out and fixed your electronics. You should be using H3R Performance's Halguard extinguisher, which contains Haltron 1. It's a clean agent that turns into a gas. It attacks fire without leaving a damaging residue. It's what you should reach for first. If you have a chemical fire, meaning flammable liquid, then you need the best dry chemical. Again, H3R Performance has you covered with the max out. Be smart and carry one of each to protect the investment you spent a ton of money on. So if you want to be smart, look good, protect your build with the same guys that are protecting all of us over here at Sorted, visit H3R Performance forward slash Sorted. It's going to save you 15% on your order. I'm telling you, if you ever have to use one of these, it's going to be the best modification you ever made to your car. All right, Joel, welcome. You have a C5 Corvette, and you and I are much alike in that we have both spent far too much money on C5 Corvettes. Yes, sir. Matt made the right decision of getting rid of his. Yeah, I spent a little bit of money on mine. It got me through, and then I ditched. And now Joel has had his car, I think, longer than me, but going back to the early 2000s. And I could tell about this car, but why don't you let us know what you've done to this and just estimate how much money and how many kids you could have put through school had you not bought this. It's a 98, I bought it new. The um, way it sits right now is a QMP built stroked LS3 416 motor with a Paxton supercharger, East Coast supercharger bracket and a custom 
one-off air-to-water heat exchanger. So you are the first and original owner? Yes. The only one? Yes. That's so cool. There's not much left from when, from then, though. Seats. The windshield, the yeah. seats. No, the windshield's the been a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is factory um, here. Yeah, right? So what's it making in current trim? Right around 880 at the wheel. Okay, so I've actually driven this car, Okay. what, four years ago maybe? It was about two and I had to remind you that you actually the, drove it. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> um, I'd forgotten that I drove it, which is fine. And for this show, that works well. Yes. And um, you enjoyed it. I believe I enjoyed it. I know as you. I As you pulled in and I saw the door panel, the seat, the fact that this weather stripping is coming right off in my hand and the ill-fitting plastic, it brought me right back to my C5. Touche, touche. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I have the I same do. thing. I'm looking at buying one. You're making me want to change As my mind should. right now. now this, this is probably the best value for a base bank yeah. starting. Bank I would agree with you on that. Yeah. Buck. Yeah. It can Every go 170,000 miles on it. It's the best yeah. budget race car. <laughs> but I mean, you can go well into the 175, 185 mile an hour range in this car. You want to yeah. pop? You remember sure. where it is? I can, if I can remember. It looks like uh, you put a little off. pressure on your hood there. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's 25 oh, pounds. Oh, yeah, there we go. go. That is, bag. that's yeah. all function right there. Yeah, that, that's everything 100 is functional. Fu oh, boy. <laughs> all right, there you go. just fell in. <laughs> yeah, and right. I went through some The plastic. first car is down on Sorted. Sorry, Sorry about that. Uh, no okay. problem. I know these cars tend to get hot around the track after a while. What yeah. have you done for cooling in the front? Um, it does have a be cool radiator. Okay. Um, the heat exchanger, um, it's a custom setup. It is an East Coast supercharging bracket, packs in Navi 2000, but uh, custom setup with the heat exchanger and then utilizing the vents in the front. I have two radiators in there where it circulates through. Okay. And yeah. the third, it does like a JFK magic bullet thing. The yes. air. It, goes like, it takes the, like 14 left turns. Yeah. Before and this is an the extraction. Yeah. Right? Yes, so quite that's, functional. Okay. And then I carved out a big section there. So this nice. is a Maytag, right? Uh, right, <laughs> off, Sears, right, right off the dryer, right? Yeah, yeah, I put it in myself <laughs> like I've done most everything on this. Nice. Place. Well, I'm yeah. looking forward to it. I am totally rooting for you. Like the other cars, there's some good big cars here, but I am totally like, my heart is with this one. He said that about everyone. I know, yeah. I've been sitting here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> On the next episode of Sorting, we break everything. Oh no, that's gone. That's gone badly. Did you enjoy the show? Of course you did. You're still watching. And that's why you should go over to autotempest.com and start looking for your own overly modded gigantic baby turboed ride so you can join us here on Sorted. Scroll down, click on the link in the description, and get yourself to Auto Tempest because, you know, all the cars, one search. As always, stay sorted. I'm uh, Matt. Right here, please, guys. Right here. Get the whole dome in there. Make sure you don't Is the reflection off. bothering the shot? Powder? Any powder on the head? <laughs>